What's up guys, welcome to another Tech Gear Talk video. Today I wanna to talk about drones, but not just any drones, we're gonna talk about great beginner drones for around 25 bucks. I've been flying drones for years, both for fun and commercially, and I remember as soon as I saw drones on the market, I was like, I need to get one of those. And back then you were talking about 10 or $15,000 for a drone, then you had to put a nice camera on it. But regardless, I knew I needed to have one. A lot of people tell me that they're interested in drones, but they're not really sure where to start. So I wanted to start a new series of videos. This will be the first one where I'll give you some advice, I'll share my experiences with you, and hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes that I've made. In one of the next videos, we'll go over some piloting tips and I'll give you some great exercises that you can do if you wanna become a better pilot. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're notified when I publish it. Because I know some people won't watch this entire video, I wanted to give you some pretty good advice right up front. If you haven't flown a drone before, don't buy an expensive drone. Seriously, don't do it. You wanna know why? Because you'll crash it. I promise you, you'll crash it. I know the major drone companies out there put all these advertisements out there about how easy their drones are and that they practically fly themselves. And you know what the most important part of that statement is? They practically fly themselves. More expensive drones like these are technically easier to fly because they have GPS connections and they're much more stable but I want you to learn how to fly these little cheap drones so that if something goes wrong with your big drone, you're able to keep control over it and then safely land it. I tell everyone that asks me about starting to fly drones that their first drone shouldn't cost more than about 25 bucks. And in the long run, actually, the 25 bucks is gonna save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Do you know what's great about cheap drones? They're small, they're light, and they're, well, cheap. A small drone is great because you can fly it indoors. And that means that you can pretty much practice anytime you want. And another thing is that you don't have to deal with the wind outside. A light drone is great for a number of reasons. First of all, it's unlikely that it will damage anything in your house. Another reason is that even if you crash it, or scratch that, when you crash it, they're pretty sturdy. And because they're so light, it's fairly unlikely that you'll damage the drone itself. And finally, a cheap drone is great because it's, well, it's cheap. So replacement parts are cheap, uh, additional batteries are cheap, and even if you need to replace the whole unit, it's really not that bad. But when you start flying, you're gonna be nervous. And having an expensive, larger drone just is gonna make you more nervous. Whereas having a smaller, light, inexpensive drone just lets you relax and concentrate on flying. Most of these drones will have what's called the headless mode, and I'll get into that in another video, but it's not really something I want you to use when you're learning because I want you to be able to control the drone on your own. Again, just in case something happens to a larger drone later on, I want you to be able to safely land it. All right, so let's get to the drones. I'll put links in the description to all of these drones. So if you're interested in getting some more information and you wanna support the channel by buying them, that would be great. The first drone I wanna look at is the SEMA X20, which is a tiny little pocket drone, which is packed with great features. It has auto takeoff and landing, a headless mode, and even altitude hold. Now what's nice about altitude hold is it means that you only need to worry about moving the drone forward and backwards, side to side, and turning it and you don't need to worry so much about where it is vertically. It's super easy to fly, and I know that in pictures, or even in this video, you'll see, it looks like it has a camera on it, but it doesn't, it's just a light. The transmitter is a little different than others that I've used, and you'll see that Sima opted for these buttons that slide rather than the more traditional sticks. It didn't take very long to get used to them, but I just wanted to highlight that because that's pretty much different than any other controller that you'll see for any other drone. The X20 uses a 180 milliamp per hour battery, which gives you about five minutes of flying. And the battery is integrated into the drone itself. So you can't get additional batteries. So every time the battery runs out, you have to charge it. And charging is done using a provided mini USB. And the X20 has integrated prop guards that are plenty solid for a drone of this size. And what's nice is it comes with four replacement props, so you can replace these if you damage yours. And it can also do 360 flips uh, with the press of one button, which is cool once you get used to flying it. Overall, this is a really easy drone to fly. Uh, it has some great features, and I would definitely recommend this drone to a beginner. Next, I wanna look at the Isheen H8 mini quadcopter drone. This is another pretty good beginner drone. Uh, it's super stable. 
Um, the only thing is these prop guards are a little flimsy. So it's possible that after crashing it a couple of times, you'll just need to bend these out so they don't hit the props. It uses a 150 milliamp per hour battery, which gives you about five and a half minutes of flight time and then charges back up in about 25 minutes. Now what's nice about this is the battery is removable. So you can buy additional batteries and then just have continuous flying. So you can just take out the battery that came with it, pop another one in, charge the other one while you're flying your additional battery. You can get four batteries and then never have to wait for it. The prop quality is pretty good for a drone at this price point. Um, it only comes with two replacement props, so you may want to buy some additional ones in case you damage yours. There are two flight speeds, low and high, and realistically, for a beginner, you're only going to use low. The H8 can do flips in all four directions and also comes with headless mode, which we discussed previously. The controller is a decent size, uh, it uses more traditional sticks, and it takes three AAA batteries, which last forever. Overall, this is a really nice little drone and the ability to fly it continuously, I think makes it a really good choice for a beginner because it just gives you more time to practice. Next, I wanna talk about a drone from 4Axis and I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna call it Toik. Now, this is an outstanding drone for beginners. It's a little bit larger than the other drones in this price point and it's super solid. The props and the prop guards are bigger and if you can see, the prop guards actually protect the props from the side, from the bottom, and from above, which is pretty unique. And the most important advantage here is the top, because when you fly this into your ceiling, the props are never gonna hit anything. And so I think this is a really good feature for beginners. I mean, I hit the ceiling too, so I'm not judging. Now this model lets you remove the prop guards, don't, and it comes with four additional prop guards in case you break these. The toy comes with two 300 milliamp batteries, each giving you about six to eight minutes of flight. It's the only drone in this video that comes with two batteries. Again, it's great because you can be charging one battery while you're flying using the other one. Now the remote itself is something else that sets this drone apart. As you can see, it's much larger than the other remotes in this video. And it's much more similar to remotes that you'll use later on, at least in terms of size. This is a great drone. It's solid, it's very stable, and I very highly recommend this drone for beginners. Next, I wanna look at the CX-10 from Cheerson. This thing is a little different from all the other drones in this video. For starters, it's like the tiniest thing you've ever seen. And from the first time I saw it, I was like, I have to fly one of those just to see how it flies. It uses an internal 100 milliamp per hour battery, which gives you about four to six minutes of flight. And again, you can't get additional batteries because the battery is integrated right into the drone, but it only takes about 25 minutes to charge. The remote is pretty similar to the H8, but only uses two AAA batteries, which again, lasts forever. And believe it or not, this tiny little drone can still do flips. I want you to notice that this drone doesn't come with prop guards. And that means that you can easily damage these props when you crash it. So I actually found some prop guards for it and I'll put a link in the description so you can get them. And I'd recommend doing that if you end up buying this drone. For me, the CX-10 was fun to fly. Um, due to its size, sometimes it's hard to tell uh, the orientation, and although it's small, it's pretty stable and will help you get better. I have to admit that this drone is harder to fly than the rest of the drones in this video. Um, I don't know if it's due to its size, but it's a little too responsive, uh, which is difficult to deal with in the beginning. So for me, it's fun to fly, but if you're a beginner, I'd probably wait, unless you want this drone as a novelty. Some people have reported an issue with the charger, but that wasn't my experience. I just wanted to mention that just to be transparent. Finally, I wanna look at another drone from Ishin, the E010 UFO Mini Drone. This is another excellent drone for beginners. It's very solid, it's sturdy and easy to fly. And these prop guards do a really good job of protecting the props themselves. And on top of that, you get four additional replacement props. The E010 uses a 150 milliamp per hour battery, which gives you about five minutes of flying and takes about 30 to 50 minutes to recharge. Again, because it's removable, you can just go buy additional batteries and just fly continuously for as long as you have batteries. Again, it has two speeds, low and high. I definitely recommend that you start on low when you're just learning 
But as you get better, you may want to move to high, which is a little fun. It's a little more zippy. Like the other drones in this video, it has headless mode and can also do flips. Well, one feature that's interesting about this drone, which kind of works, is it has a return to home button. So in theory, the drone detects where the controller is and would fly back to you if something happened. It doesn't work great necessarily, and it's not really something I want you to count on. It, you shouldn't be flying it that far away from you anyways. And again, I want you to be able to be in control of this drone whenever possible. And I just wanna mention that is something that they advertise for this drone. The remote is pretty nice and is a size that's pretty similar to the other drones in this video. Uh, it uses two AA batteries. And this is another one of my favorite beginner drones. So I definitely think you should check it out if you're looking for something at this price point. I hope this video is helpful if you're looking for a beginner drone for about 25 bucks. If you have any questions about beginner drones or flying drones in general, just go ahead and put them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer every question. Please give this video a thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. See you soon.